Anyway, tell the people, what, what's your name? Jimmy Bradley. And where are you from, Jimmy? I'm from Valley Moat, County Sligo. Really? Oh, yeah, that's right. Beside Gorchin, yeah. And you've travelled down for the, the no, flat? No, I'm living in Longford. Ah, no, right, I'm right. I had a pub in Longford called the Camlin by a right under the river Shannon. Go away. Aye. And uh, that's a Paul Soprani as well. Oh, it is, aye. It that's is. a good machine. Was an old machine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so tell us, are you, you're playing now. We've we've met you here at uh, Gig Rig Two, but I think you're on Gig Rig One. Yeah, yeah but we're now with Mick Foster and and, and uh, Sean Marshall and Noel Sweeney, and there's uh, others five or six more. Like, there's five, well, there's four or five, like, you know. Right. The, Noel Batters, he's on it as well. That's right, international Noel. I mean, he's won more oh, competitions. Else. Absolutely. Well, look, we are delighted. Well, it's, a, it's a super group. So, um, will you play a tune for us? As I said, we met you down in Arson Mullen, and uh, you came in along with your friend that played the saxophone. That's right, I know it. Well, that's uh, that's what I want up to meet now. You know? Right. Well, right. before you go, will you give us one tune? Yeah, I will, yeah. You're a gentleman. <laughs> Let's see, what will it be? What's the name of this tune? Uh, uh, what is the name of That at the blanket. <laughs> that's I heard a, a, um, a cabin man playing that, and that's what I heard him. I, I had not know the name, and, I, and I'm no good to think of the names of tunes. I'm right, because you, know? you know the way every lad talks in a tune, like, and he puts a little bit of a spiel to it. Aye, well, I, uh, but this, um, I heard a cabin man, uh, I forget his name again now, and uh, he's a fiddle player, a way old fiddle player, but I heard him, he played the tune, and someone asked him the name of it, and he says, the, the first one is, is the cow that at the black. And I don't know why he called the second one. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us. Oh, you you said you came from Sligo. That's where your your origins are. Oh, I I, I I'm uh, from a small village called Cash. Cash, yeah. I am. Ballymore Bally is my nearest. I, be, I wouldn't be too far from Killab. Ah, right. No. And did you start playing tunes as a kid? Um, I really did. I was at it for. A, I was at it when I was small, and then I went to England. And I was How long were you in about, England? I was at. It, I was in England for about ten or fifteen years, and I was at it for a while in England. Then and we got to come home. Then and we bought a pub. Right. And they used to come in an awful lot of foreigners. Of right. River Shannon, and they loved Irish music. But you I used to. I used to cut a lock of turf in that time and I used to have an old machine on the bar and it was all work and no music. Only playing the one I would bloody tunes all the time, you know. Right, oh yeah. And no time to learn nothing, you know. Yeah. 
Han körde för att bo torrt i och så att hon lärde att han hade se mig och så och så. Och så det slags fel när han började att lärde dem. Då begynte det komma very quick to me. <laughs> now, learning a tune, can you just listen to a lad and then play the tune after it? Or does it go in that way? Or do you record it or what? Oh, I would have recorded it. I have to know it in my head. I know. It's all. Well, with me now, I mean, we in our family, um, we went to learn piano. I couldn't take to it at all. I learned the saxophone. I couldn't take to it. I never learned the music. But in a way, I if I can hear it, and I can sing it, and I play a couple of chords to it, ah. and that's that's how. Well, I'm, no, I just. Oh, I'm 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 no good to read music. Either, mm -hmm. I'm no good at that. Like, although I'll tell you now, there's a fella now with me, no one's tweeting. Eh? Yeah, the lad that plays the saxophone. Ah, yeah, he's he's a great player, you know. Que. Oh, Jesus, oh, he, oh, he, oh, he will not 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 either. He's a lead from that, you know. Oh, he's a great player. I, he, but well, he does be, he does be, <laughs> he kicked me. Come on, come on. <laughs> Fuck yourself up now. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but isn't it great to have someone to oh, encourage you? Him. Oh, because I do often think of Anthony Cook and what happens to him, I'm finished. But anyway, oh, but there's some great musicians from Balfour, you know. Mm. Oh, Jesus, there's some mighty musicians from Balfour. And you come down, do you play music in Longford then, or do you just come to Arson Mullen along with your mate? No. Well, no one and I comes down to the Arson Mullen. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But then there's. There's a, 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 a place in Lanford, the Tally Hall. Mm. There was a mighty session in there last night as well, you know. Go away. Go away. Oh, Lanford, I tell you. I know there's a lot of musicians in Lanford that has come in from outside. But they're great musicians. Mm. And they're staying in Lanford and just, you know, living in Lanford. And it has really built up Lanford, you know. And tell us, um, have you been to Flack Yoles, a lot of Flack Yoles, or would you have come you to know, many or what? You know, something for, for years, I wouldn't know. Yeah, because you're working. Uh, it was all work on no music. All work on no, yeah, you heard a no play, you heard no music. That, that, that's what it was, all work on no play. But, but we got, um, this last few years now, I've learned more music in the last, in the last four or five years than I learned for 40 years before that. And is it injecting you, is it giving you a buzz? Oh, it is, oh, I love, which I always loved it, you know. Yeah. So, I went to a tinker's camp and I heard music. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll tell you one. When I was going to school, you know, there was this, yeah. there was this uh, um, fella, and he used to be camped at the crossroads at the graveyard. Yeah. And, and you know, he was a great old banjo player, but right. he was a fab. Look, there's nothing, nothing wrong with him. Exactly, yeah. Man. Yeah. So they got on, he was a, I'd sit on the steps of the caravan. He had the, one of these round caravans. You mm, know, the, the wooden ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'd sit on the steps listening to him play. Mm. And my mother did the lot of mercy on her, so she used to kill me for, you know, for getting involved and all this crime. But uh, the next day I'd be coming home, the next day I'd hear him play, and I'd sit on the steps, and the other couple of sisters of mine that keep going and they were going home. And yeah. the rest of them, and the next thing, when I think they were gone a long distance, I'd jump up and run to try and catch them, to be with them when they went to the house. <laughs> but they had, sometimes they'd be in the house before me. And it's when they're going, Mammy, Mammy, he was with the tinker today. <laughs> and that's the slowest. Did yeah. you get any tunes? Uh, well, I did, well, I liked it. At I that time? His, I did, I did, and I liked his music. And he was a great banjo player. I, I, even that he was a yeah. tinker man and said, sure, he was a great banjo. And he was nice, and a fierce nice man. Brilliant. And I remember one day he gave me a biscuit. And you know something, I thought more of that biscuit. That, you know, from yeah. a of Austin, you know. Yeah. And you were very young at the time, like, oh, what, you're about 10? I about ten, about, yeah. I about nine or ten. And did you have the box with you, or oh, no. you just oh, listen? No, no. You'd oh, listen no. to him play. I listened to him play. Oh, but I always loved music. You know. Yeah. No. I'm going to let you go. You can, but you know how I got this box. Tell us, tell us, yeah. tell us. I remember back in nineteen, nine, back in the sixties. Uh -huh. Remember years ago there was what they call these FCA camps. Yeah. I remember doing it, doing two weeks below in Bundoran, and I got a few pounds that time in Bundoran, in, in, in Finner Camp. <laughs> and I got out of the, 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 the army wagon in Valley Moat, and I seen this guardian on the window, and I went straight in and bought it, and that's it. Oh my God. <laughs> well, it brought you, you know, good luck. And you know what I paid for it? £39 for itself on a case. That was uh, a lot of money. 
Well, of course it was, but you see, that time we were with My mother, had, when, I come home, when I come home with the car, the and my mother, oh, sure, they were mad with me. You're, you're mad, you're mad, you're gone in the head. And <laughs> on the gym, you know. But you know, you, you know nothing about it, and you can't play, and you know. But yes, anyways, uh, she gave me the, the rest of the money, anyways, and I finished off paying for it. But then Jeannie Johnson was the name of the shop in Ballymore. I never forget it, you know. And look and at you now. <laughs> look at you now. <laughs> well, I know. It's I bringing know. you, it's uh, rejuvenating you. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, and this box has travelled. I had it in England and I had it up in Manchester and I had it in Birmingham. I just had it all over. What did you do in the jobs in England? Like, what did you work at? Well, uh, uh, I, spent a f I spent a few years working on the underground, on the shows. Mm -hmm. The time that they were, the time that they were uh, driving the heavens for the shows. And then to see oh, that finished up then, and I got an opportunity to go to. I was working with a crowd called Bafford and Bee Gees. Right. And they used to do, uh, um, they used to do railway work, and they used to do buildings and stuff. So we got, I got an opportunity to go with them. So I didn't, I well, if I wanted to go on the railway with them, or if I wanted to go on the, go on the building. So I took a job on the railway. Right. And I was only there about two or three weeks. Wasn't we coming home one? one evening through a place called Hampstead Heat uh -huh. and there was a big pond and didn't the poor horse driver didn't he he was just like these like oats <laughs> and didn't he fall down behind the wheel and straight into the barn with the coach <laughs> and the whole record I know and there were three or four foot of water and you know but the whole record trucks and a lot of people all around and you see and then all I could do I jumped up and I tried to grab the wheel yeah. but you see uh, the poor the, 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 the fox was the idea man when he when he fell down behind the wheel, his foot went down the accelerator, and so we couldn't. So it, it was building speed, and then did, but when he looked, he didn't turn over when he went into the water, you know. Exactly. No, I didn't. But, but do you all get out? All we were out, honey, was anywhere we, and then they got an opportunity. We got a drive in the coach with them that time, and you know, some of that mighty job. It was the greatest, it was something. It, <laughs> <laughs> and how hard I used to work, you know, and that was the softest job ever I got. Huh? Wow, <laughs> and that, that, was, that, that brought you home then, yeah? Uh, uh, well, then the wife wanted to, she wanted to. Did you meet your wife over in England? I didn't met her, she was at the Rish Hall, a lamp. Ah, uh, right, yeah. And uh, 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 she wanted the kids to go to school here. And, yeah, that made the decision. And that made the decision. And you came back and bought the pub then, I did you? I bought this pub then in, 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 in Tundra. Good man. Nice, well, I am absolutely delighted to speak to you, and I'm delighted that you speak to us. And as I say, this is all this all this is all about. Uh, uh, this flag hall is about connecting with people and getting stories from people I, I know, yeah. and playing songs. Oh, yeah. well, Do us one more tune before you go, I right? Will, Jeff, I will, I will. And uh, we will be very grateful. Yeah, I know. All right. Um. Give us your name once again. Jimmy Brehany. Jimmy Brehany. I thank you very much for being on board. To all our friends looking in, that's Jimmy Brehany. If you ever meet him around the streets of Mullingar, say hello to him. And as I said, it's a pleasure to have you on board the bus. Thanks, Jimmy. Thank you. Bye for now, folks. All right. Do you know what we'll do? We'll do have a quick look in here because a lot of people left a few messages as well. So let's have a quick chat. So uh, we have uh, Deepak Sharma is looking in from Canada. We have Colette looking in from France. We have uh, Deepak uh, 
uh, oh, Sandeep, yeah, uh, that's Sandeep. And he says, he's a quick saying hello there. James Nolan is looking in from just outside Mullingar. Colette's looking in from France. And we have uh, Deirdre Cole watching in, who we met down the streets in Mullingar today. Uh, friends looking in from France, more from France. I tell you, you've got an international gathering here, sir. So once again, folks, good evening to you all. And you never know, we might have more for you later on. What the hell for <laughs> Thank you, sir. Bye for now.